guys welcome back to my channel I'm Auntie Z if you're new here make sure that you hit that subscribe button and join the super family guys <laughs> join the super family guys we've got lots of love and delicious recipes to share guys welcome to the month of March March is national kidney awareness month where the world focuses on the kidneys urging persons to pay more attention to their kidneys health if you don't know what your kidneys are your kidneys are the fist size bean like shaped organs that are found in the lower part of your back which help maintain proper functioning of your body by filtering waste out of 200 liters of your blood on a daily basis your kidney also regulates the body's salt potassium and acid content it removes drugs from your body balances fluids releases hormones that regulate blood pressure controls the production of red blood cells and produces an active form of vitamin D that promotes strong and healthy bones so your kidneys are so important and you can just imagine what is going to happen if your kidneys fail so during all of the month of March guys I'm partnering with the ear foundation to bring to you delicious healthy kidney friendly recipes for you so that you can help your kidneys function properly and also live a healthy lifestyle for so much longer so foods that are not going to put a lot of pressure on your kidneys are foods that are whole are fresh and foods that are not refined do not have any additives so the first recipe I'm going to be sharing with you guys are healthy delicious kidney friendly milk alternatives people with chronic kidney disease guys have to lower their dairy intake because milk from animals like cows sheep are most often than not formed with antibiotics and other things that are not so good for your kidneys that is why i'm going to share with you three of my favorite super delicious creamy kidney friendly milk alternatives guys i'm going to walk you through the ingredients and then we're going to start the process okay guys let's get right with the process the first milk alternative that i want to show you guys is tiger nut milk also known as dabino in nigeria so as you can see right here what i have are dried tiger nuts and this is about two hands full guys tiger nuts are really really good because they are high in fiber they are the best sources of magnesium and they are good for our heart prevent cancer and also prevent heart disease so this is a great source of non-animal protein and then we're also going to make coconut milk you guys know that coconut improves heart health because of the great fatty acids that it contains and also they help you lose fat so this is a great milk alternative and then the last one I'm going to be showing you guys we have some cashew nuts right here so we are going to be making cashew milk and cashew milk is rich in vitamins K magnesium B12 and also vitamins D which is also great for healthy and strong bones guys to start this process making the milk is really really simple what I have is the bottle I'm going to use for my milk so I'm going to go ahead and measure the water quantity inside the bottle so that it gives me the exact quantity of milk that I want and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in all of that water into my nuts just like so we're going to do the same measure our water and then fill it up inside there like so we're trying to soften the nuts just like that and we're going to just let this sit you can also let it sit overnight that's okay as well Guys, we're going to begin with our cashew milk. I'm going to add in everything inside there like so. We're going to add in all of our cashew nuts and then we're going to pour this on. And then we're going to pour in the cashew milk through a sieve like so. You just want to shake it a little bit. If you have a spoon, this is what you do. Get a spoon and just sieve through because obviously you have the chaff okay so you want to see through and make sure that all of the meal comes out now you can see that it has a, it has formed a paste which is so thick so I'm going to go ahead and just add in some more water so that all of the milk should come out Yeah. 
here is the chaff we have squeezed still a little bit and uh, there is still some milk inside there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it inside here into this kitchen cloth and I'm going to squeeze out even more of the cashew milk you have to make sure that this is really clean okay so when you do that you squeeze you're going to get even more cashew milk extracted and we are going to repeat this process for the tiger nut milk and the coconut milk as well so I want to show you the chaff so this is the chaff right here you don't want to throw this if you are doing the keto diet you can blend this even more add some psyllium husk to make some cashew fufu with it you know tastes delicious all right so this is what it look, looks like we're going to do the same for the rest Guys, we're going to pour in all of our milks into a jar like this one. This is going to be stored in the fridge for four to six days. And I'm going to use this to make my smoothies or just to drink for the kids. And yeah, this is so delicious and this is so healthy. 